Goya continues to uh, explore throughout his career uh, notions of witchcraft and the supernatural and uh, the occult and ghosts and spooks. Uh, He did a series of uh, 88 etchings called the caprices or the whims or fantasies where he represents demons born from religion and and power, monsters who are often committing acts of evil. The images are at times both grotesque as well as somewhat comical. This image at the left might have been the title page for the series. It's entitled, The Sleep of Reason Produces Monsters. Perhaps we have the artist himself, or, or an artist, asleep, dreaming up these nightmares and, and the macabre tormentors that pervade the rest of the series of images. Uh, a couple other images from the series. When day breaks, we will be off, is the image at left. And the image at right, we see what happens when they're off. This is called Pretty Teacher. I mean, we can perhaps take that title as a bit of an irony. Uh, This malicious group of haggard witches that left awaiting daybreak to take flight. The elder seems to maybe signal off in a direction that they're going to go. And then uh, we see down below here these poor shackled children. Are they going to be drug along from her her waist for some evil, malicious witchcraft sorcery purpose? Who's this looming specter in the background? You see the dark shrouded shape. Is this uh, a witch's Sabbath? Is... Satan looming behind them. Certainly, yeah, the, the notion of the witch flying on a broomstick, we see it, it goes back quite a ways. We can trace it all the way back to those images of Walpurgisnacht. Certainly, the witch that defines our modern icon of the witch, we get from, of course, the 1939 film, The Wizard of Oz, this 20th century icon of what it is to be a witch. Though then we have to remember, of course, that in the, the original L. Frank Baum, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz from 1900, the, the witch is not described as having green skin. This image here that accompanied the original publication, certainly we already have the pointy hat, but she doesn't fly on, on a broomstick. Her, her item of choice is, the, is an umbrella with which sometimes she might poke that uh, pesky little dog, Toto.